Hello everybody, I'm Artsy Julesy and I'm coming at you live from Denver, Colorado. And I'm taking the advice of some of the folks that have left uh, comments on my blog, on my website, to uh, go on ahead and do a blog that actually has a, a video of, of what I do. So I have a painting here that I've been working on right here. Um, it's called Fall Fusion. And uh, so what it is, is it's uh, just something that came into my head. I guess like a lot of artists get inspired. And uh, it's of the a lot of the fall colors that are here in my home state of Colorado. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I do. Just ideas for you if you'd like to, uh, to use them in your artwork. And um, this is oiled. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is... Uh, just show you a couple of the supplies of the turpenoid, turpenoid natural oil to use, um, like as a part of your, you have to have it. For acrylics, you'll use water as your base, but with, with oils, you have to use turpentine or something similar, walnut oil. And so I have to use some of this for my blending and stuff if I need to. I don't really need to use it that often. And uh, what I'm going to demonstrate for you today is a couple of, uh, things that I did with the leaves on here because I could paint leaves uh, with brushes. It's not a problem, but I thought of this idea as something really cool. Uh, make it a little bit more, um, have more uh, texture to it. And so I actually used uh, actual leaves. And what I'm going to do is dip them in the paint and just splash them onto the canvas. You could always make corrections afterwards if you need to. So I have my palette here. And uh, I'm going to go on ahead and, uh, you know, be sure that you always have rags. I wear these fun clothes. This is my art clothes. I don't mind if I get dirty uh, with art with paint. If you're an artist, that's just part of the process. Uh, my palette. Here's my palette. So I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to do an aspen leaf. They're, they're abundant here in Colorado. And so I'm going to get my, my uh, gold color on there. This is actual uh, cadmium, cadmium yellow, which is really close to our aspen leaves in the fall. And I'm going to get that ready. Next, I'm going to use some um, cadmium red. Cadmium red will be for the other leaves, the maple leaf. And another leaf, honestly, not sure what type of tree it is, but uh, they change more to a reddish color. Um, so I'm going to use some of that. I'm going to also put in a little bit of, I might need a little bit of, uh, this is um, burnt sienna for the brown. The leaves can be kind of brownish red. So I'm going to go on ahead and put that next to my uh, red in case, you know, I need that, which for the color that I want. And that should be my starting point for now. A lot of times it's good to have white as a base for mostly a lot of paintings that you do. But I'm going to go on ahead and just start with these three. And just uh, the, be the best thing you could do is just watch to see what I do. So I'm getting my, my aspen leaf that I got. And I'm going to go on. I might use, I'm, I'm use a, a palette knife. To go on ahead and spread it out a little bit on here so that when I dip the leaf in it it's ready for me to to just get all the colors and the veins in the leaf that I want so I just smash it down in there and make sure it has a lot of paint on it smash it down in there and I check it. I'm checking it to see if I have the paint on the whole part of the leaf that I want. Pick it up. It has a lot of nice texture to it. And I'm going to go in ahead and put it where I want it to be. And I just Pat it down. Okay. 
I'll let it set there. Well, I'm letting that set there for a bit. Oils take can take up to a whole month to dry, so that's the beauty of oil paint. You don't have to always worry about, oh, I did something wrong, because you could come back to it even a week later, or maybe not always a week, but like the next day, and make the corrections that you need to take, make. So I have that there. I'm going to wipe off the yellow as good as I can for my fingers. And then I'm going to go on ahead and get the yellow off the pellet knife. I'm going to make a blend here of the color that I want with the, with the red and a little bit of the burnt sienna. And it's looking like I need more red. So I'll go on ahead and put more red on my canvas. I mean, I'm sorry, on my palette. So I've got some red going on. Mix it in. It's the color I want. Now, if I wanted to and I needed more orange, I can blend the yellow and the red together and I'd get my orange. So I'm going to go, go on ahead and, and dip this leaf here, and I'm going to get it nice and soaked into the paint. Right there. I lift it up. I'm taking a look to see. Now one of the things that, that I've noticed that happened, like here in this aspen leaf, is it didn't quite show the veins. So that's something that I used a, a small brush like this to go on ahead and, uh, and make the veins after I had the lead down. So I want this one. I would like this one to be like right here. So I'm just going to go on ahead and Tap that down onto the canvas. Tap, tap, tap. Let it set in for a bit. While that's setting in, I can get the paint off my hand. And I'm going to go on ahead and take that one off. So, there is the beginning of the Aspen leaf. And it's a little bit odd compared to the other aspen leaves, but I could always touch up with the brush to make it more of the shape that I might want it to be. Um, and then I'll add the veins to it and all of that. Over here, I take off this leaf, and that is looking really good to me. I like what I see, except, and so I love the texture. Maybe I'll put it closer for you all to see the texture. So the texture is more ruffled. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm also doing, I'm adding things. I'm going to show you something now that I'm going to add. I'm adding needles uh, from pine trees. I'm using small pine cones and I'm gluing them on. And what I'm using that with right here is this quick, this um, quick dry glue. That's the one that I'm using. To put, to put pine needles on, I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to put this small pine cone on the canvas and it'll set in and it'll dry um, over time. Looks like some glue might be stuck. So I'm going to go on ahead and get this glue on here. Don't worry about the glue. If, it, if you can see it, it should dry clear on the canvas. And then also, you could always, always paint around it when it's dry. The oils in the background here, they're dry. Um, so sometimes you want to let them dry if you want just, you don't want any blending. So I'm going to put my pine cone where I want it. And just press down. I may need to let this dry flat, probably. So I'm just going to have to leave that there. And 
I'll put more pine needles in, all kinds of cool stuff, do all my touch-ups on the leaves, add a few more leaves. I'm going to, I'm thinking about adding this one in, another real pretty maple leaf. Uh, since this is fall fusion, everything is in the fall colors except some of the, the background greens that you see in there. So for now, I'm putting that aside. I'm going to let it dry. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you would, uh, if you're interested in my artwork, you can go to my, my website at https colon slash slash www.artsyjulcy.com and um, I'm going to be adding to my blog soon and uh, adding Fall Fusion to the products that you can buy. So take care, God bless, and uh, I'll look forward to uh, hearing back from you.